three, two, one, let's go. Hey guys, today is January the 26th, and this is Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel, back with a video. Family, I love you, and I pray you're all doing well today. Now, if you're new to our channel, I want to welcome you to our channel. And on this channel, we know we're living in the end times, and we're watching for the intimate return of Jesus. Family, that trumpet is about to sound, and we're going to be ready on this channel. Guys, the end is in sight. We're going home soon, as the bride eagerly awaits the groom. Family, that trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, you already know. Let's go. Okay, guys, in the book of Acts 2.17, the word of God says this. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So family, it should come as no surprise that people all across the world are having prophetic dreams of end time events. Now guys, I have a very special dream to share with you today. Now as many already know, people send me their dreams and visions that they've had. And when I feel led to, I share them with you all. Before I give you this dream, let me give you the back story for this dream. So one of our subscribers, Sister Diana, sent me this dream that her now deceased mother Rosie had in 2003 on April 11th. So what I'm going to do is read you the email she sent me. Let's go. Shalom, Mr. Adam. I have a dream I want to share with you. This past November, my mother went to be with Jesus. When we was cleaning out her home, I found a box of journals. And since 1982, she had been recording in her journal daily. She would record her thoughts, what she was studying in the Bible, milestones, and so on. What she recorded in April 2003 was a very beautiful dream she had. And I believe it was a rapture dream. This is exactly what she had written down in her journal. April 11th, 2003. Last night, I woke up around 4 a.m., from a dream that God gave unto me. In this dream, I saw the gathering of the saints unto the Lord in the air. Tom and myself were walking down an old dirt road in a place I was not at all familiar with. The dirt road was lined with sunflowers on each side. It was stunning. At the end of the dirt road was a small white church that was surrounded by a creek. And there was a tiny graveyard near the church in which I visually saw Paul, Paul, Nene, Abe, Johnson, Baby Sue, and Aunt Kay standing next to gravestones. And as we drew closer to them, they began to walk to us. They all appeared to be the same age and were wearing all white. Nene, Sue, and Kay all had on white wedding dresses. They looked beautiful. And Paul, Paul, Abe, and Johnson all had on white suits. They looked very stunning. I could tell it was them, even baby Sue, who passed on as an infant, but they looked like they were in their late 20s. And the little white church had a sign outside of it that said, Happy 60-year anniversary to the Freemans. Tom and I finally made it to the group when Paul Paul said, It is time. Then the ground began to shake. Then an elegant trumpet sounded. And the sunflowers began to bow down at the sound of the trumpet. We were all then going up high in the air towards a bright light. I wasn't nervous at all. I felt very at ease. Then I woke up. Now, Brother Adam, let me tell you why this dream really touched me. The individuals she saw in this dream were all family members that have passed on. Tom was my father, who passed in 2000, so she had this dream around three years after he passed away. And this upcoming July 5th, 2023, it would have marked their 60th wedding anniversary. My mother was a God-fearing woman, and I knew she would never wrote this dream down if she didn't have it. What is your opinion on this? Thank you for taking the time to read this. Share it any way the Lord leads you to. 
Okay, family, so I got to speak with the woman who sent me this dream. She is a very awesome individual. She loves the most high, you can really tell. And to me, it sounded like the family members who were wearing white, like they was prepared for a wedding or something. Now, her mother had this dream in 2003. That's 20 years ago. This coming July, it would mark their 60th wedding anniversary. And it appears as if in this dream, they were taken up at the 60th anniversary of their wedding. So my question to you is this. Does this dream point to a possible 2023 rapture? Now, I've told you this before, but I will say it again. When you have a prophetic dream from the Most High, the details in the dream aren't necessarily how it's going to go down when it does play out. For whatever reason, that's how the Most High wanted to get the message he wanted to get to you from the dream. And some dreams are literal. They're going to go down the way the dream happened. But to me, this dream was very encouraging. I want to thank our sister for sharing it with me and allowing me to share it. Sister, we love you and keep on looking up because you're going to see your family in the air very soon because Jesus is coming soon. I mean, family, just look around this world we're living in. It's never been more apparent that we are truly living in the biblical last days. Everything that Jesus said would be happening prior to his return. It's all going down in this generation. It's all converging in this generation. The feed tree generation. The generation that shall not pass away. And my beautiful family, that's why the message of the gospel is so important in these end times. And as always, let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. Now, family, what we're seeing a lot of in these end times, man's coming along and they're twisting the gospel and they want to add works to it. And family, it just don't work that way. No pun intended. So, according to scripture found in our Bible, Jesus was born of a virgin and Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus lived his entire life without ever once sinning. That's why he was the perfect sacrifice for the remission of our sin debt. And when Jesus was 30 years old, he began his earthly ministry. And in three years, he changed his entire world forever. And family, he did. Because here we are, nearly 2,000 years later, still singing praises to our Jesus. And at the age of 33... And the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen or will ever see. Jesus was nailed on that cross. Jesus had a crown of thorns shoved upon his head. Jesus was beaten in front of his mother. Jesus spilled his perfect, innocent blood for remission of our sins. My sins, your sins, everybody's sins. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. Then Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, guys, no tomb could hold our Messiah. Then Jesus ascended to go be with the Father. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13, blessed hope. And world events and Bible prophecy is declaring the intimate return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, you stay in that full armor of God and keep on looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. Jesus is coming soon. Family, let's go. Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. It helps us out so much and I truly do appreciate it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and I pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from the prayer team, we would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. And if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, email us at Email watchmanadam at gmail.com and we'll get a free Bible out to you. I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Please include a shipping address and give us up to a week to get back to you. We check our emails every so often, checking for Bible requests. We will get back to you.
And if you feel led to contribute to either the Bible ministry or the homeless outreach, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. All contributions either go to the homeless ministry or to our Bible outreach. As always, please pray about it first. And we got a huge trip coming up this weekend, so your prayers will be greatly appreciated. We're going to hit three cities passing out hope badge to the homeless, so please keep us in your prayers. Well, family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. Love you guys. Bye. <whistles>